Hey, this is Off the Cuff, and I'm Steve from TorahFamily.org. We have a short message today, one that deals specifically with cleaning out our lives. You know, it wasn't too long ago that we moved to a different rental home. And when we did, well, actually, we started prepping for this move, you know, months in advance. And we did so by actually just going through stuff and cleaning out what we knew we would not keep. We would not would not need to keep, I should say. And we got rid of so much stuff because we didn't need it. I mean, you know, let's face it. How many times do we keep things that we know we don't need to keep it, <laughs> you know? And then down the road, oh, hey, look, there it is. And you thought you lost it or whatever. The point being is we keep so much stuff when we really don't really need it. And then when you get rid of that stuff, it's like you feel like you're walking into a new home because everything is, well, clean, <laughs> you know, and just not as much cluttered. And, and granted, it may not have been that bad before, but when you get rid of that stuff that you know you don't need, it's like it just opens things up so much more. And likewise, we should all be getting ready for a move into the eternity, if you will. I mean, what are we doing to get ourselves ready for that move, for that move going into eternity? What are we doing to prepare ourselves for that? Are we getting rid of the junk in our life? Or are we just holding on to it, thinking, well, it's not that bad, or we can keep it here, we'll shove it over here in this corner? And What are we doing? Are, are we living our life trying to prepare ourselves for that next move. If you do, you will feel so much better if you start getting rid of that stuff, stuff now. Stuff that we don't need. Stuff that is just in our life, just cluttering things up. And it doesn't have to, even have to be wrong stuff, if you will. It's just stuff. What's in your life that you can completely do without? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Like, what is in my life that, you know, I really don't need this. I can completely do without this and I wouldn't miss it. Well, have we ever asked ourselves that? Maybe we need to start doing that a little more often to, to get, because when we do so, it will allow us to get our focus more zeroed in on our walk with the Father. And, and it's not that your, your walk could be bad or that it's that off or whatever, but we all know, I mean, we all know we could be closer than where we are right now. No matter where you're at in your walk, no matter how close you think you are, bottom line is we all can be closer. So what can we do in cleaning our life out that would help our walk get closer with the Father? How many times have we done a spring cleaning in our houses before and we held on to this or we held on to that only to throw this or that away at the next spring cleaning next year. <laughs> you, know, you know, it was a kind of a, a running joke in our the Mutria household years ago that every spring cleaning, uh, when we see ourselves wanting to throw something away, and then we think, oh, man, I don't really want to get rid of it just yet or whatever. And then we laugh at each other, say, well, yeah, just go ahead and throw it away next year. Because <laughs> that's what would happen. You know, you hold on to it for that one more year, and you could have thrown it away back then, but you thought, well, no, you never know, just in case or whatever. The thing is, what are we holding on to in our life today for no reason? I mean, you can chuck it, get rid of it, and you wouldn't miss it. You know, you, oh, you may think you might miss it or, or you don't know. But the thing is, what are we holding on to that we really don't need to be keeping in our life? You know, it doesn't have to be sin, I mean, remember, I mean, seriously, it doesn't have to be sin. It can just be anything in your life. I and mean, let's not forget Hebrews chapter 12. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. So even right here, it says you can have things in your life that aren't necessarily sin. But they can be hindering your life. And, you know, here's the thing. A lot of times we don't even realize things can be hindering our life. And it may not necessarily be hindering, 
but it can be really cluttering. Thus, that clutter can really make things, uh, um, well, a hindrance <laughs> at times in our life, and we don't realize it. Again, it's like when you have that spring cleaning and, and you clean things out, you go, oh, wow, I, I, it's like you can feel you can breathe. It's like everything is just clean and open and, well, pure, if you will, even. And that's what we have to look at our life. What are we holding into our life that we need to just get away, get rid of it, get, get it away from our lives so we can feel that clean feeling again in Him? Now, I guess all I'm saying is take some time. Take some time and pray about this. Seriously. I mean, you know, sometimes I believe we don't live our life with enough focus. You know, I mean, it's like this. We need to live life intentionally. And sometimes when we have things that are just cluttering our life, it's hard to live with that intention and purpose. I got this and you're driving this way, that way. Or I should, if you have that drive and you're doing this, a lot of times that drive can be hindered because of the unnecessary things we have in our life. So again, think about it. You know, just pray. Ask the Father to show you what is in your life that you can get rid of. That when when you do, it's like you're gonna go, wow, what was I thinking keeping this all this time before? You know what I'm saying? So take some time today and ask the Father what could be in your life that you're holding on to. And he's saying, man, get rid of it. Just just get rid of it. You don't need it anymore. You just don't need it. You know, think of it this way. When we see a ship going through rough waters, well, everyone's holding on. But the rougher the waters get, the larger the waves, what does the crew do on that ship? Well, they start chucking things left and right this to lighten the load so they can survive the storm. Now, it's so much easier to lighten that load of things you don't need, that you know you don't need, when things are going easy. Because when you're in panic mode, when things are going hard and rough, it can really be rough in the sense that you might think, oh, we can't get rid of that now. We might need this here. Because your mind is not thinking logically. You're thinking in panic mode. So when you have the time now, when things aren't going hard and rough, think about what you need to be getting rid of. Put that into prayer like never before and let the Father reveal it to you. He will in his time. Because we don't want to fail in the panic mode. So do our best. We should do our best to prevent panic mode and start lightening the load now. Prepare for the storms ahead now get our life cleaned out again when we do so you'll have that feeling of a load lifted from your shoulders like i surely you felt that before like when you do when you just just general spring cleaning around the house and you look around you go wow and you feel like you can walk on your toes if you will through the house you know and so that is the feeling we should have in our everyday life with the father walking with no heavy burden on our hearts, walking with no clutter in our life, because we know we're walking right side by side with Him with no clutter around us. I hope that makes sense. You know, so I, I, I guess the thing is here, it's amazing to me how much we think we need, if you will. You know, I mean, we can go through life thinking we need this, or we need that, and we need this, and we need that. When, quite honestly, the scriptures, well, they say quite the opposite. Consider 1 Timothy chapter 6. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world, and we can take nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. Can you be content with just that? I mean... This verse really puts things into perspective in a humbling way, I have to say. I mean, let's read it again. Again, 1 Timothy chapter 6. It says, But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world, and we can take nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. Can we have 
this mentality? Shouldn't we have this mentality? <laughs> I mean, how much do we really need? How much do we really need? Only you know what you need to get rid of, or at least you will once you put some serious prayer to it. And if by chance he speaks to your heart and says, hey, get rid of this or get rid of that, if he does, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate for a moment. Chuck it, get rid of it that instant. Lighten the load. Feel the freedom. Clear the air. And walk with him with a new focus like never before. Remember, it's just like when you walk into that clean room, you go, oh, wow, your relationship will feel that same way with him like never before even probably because you're cleaning things out. You're realizing that, man, I don't need this. I don't need that. I just need him. And it's in those moments that we grow and we grow deeper. And that's what he longs for us. So lighten the load and, and just pray about it. Let, let the Father speak to your heart. And he might just do that. He might do so. And if he does, you know what to do. Well, that's all I have for today. Think about it. Pray about it. But more than anything, be a doer of the word and not a hearer only. Until next time, Shalom.